You become very precious about lines, particularly lines you love, and it's always awkward if you feel they've they've gone. But in the end, uh, you know, it's it's not cut for, for malicious reasons. There was a lot of wonderful stuff in Mark's script which didn't make the final cut just because there was too much of it. There's some fantastic speeches that I had that, that we just never got to film because it was it was a, such a rich and full episode. Cutting stuff is it's just an economy and it's a briskness and it's a confidence actually. It says this is working. When the doctor starts speechifying, you can just lift each other and another one. Just do that. Mark will be fine. Use it next year. Well, that natural enemy of all writers is blank paper. It's, uh, it's what offends us and scares us the most in the whole world. The best way to overcome it, i found, is just to write. And it means you write quite a lot of nonsense at first, but you just have to kind of plough through that. There are times when you so want to just get started, but it's actually very dangerous. And in the end, you, you create more trouble for yourself by starting without a clear idea of where you're going to, because you'll just get halfway through and no, I have no idea where to go. In any other drama, you type scene one, day street or scene two pub scene three bedroom and with doctor who you're sitting there going on you could be on a space station or a different planet